Hey guys, welcome, 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 just like a quick update, okay, I just finished for the day, I'll be back with the other six tomorrow, I will tell you, um, normally, okay, this is going to be Monday and Tuesdays, I just got caught up yesterday in a few things, um, <clears throat> a whole lot of things, but, uh, still a good day, right, Kate's birthday, both of my daughter's, daughter's cats broke down, like, randomly. <laughs> Just like, ugh. So, a little chaotic, okay? So, if you, if it happens again, like, something <clears throat> happens per se. What is going on here? The cat. Something happens, like, per se. It will always be Tuesday. <clears throat> Wednesday, but normally I like to get it done Monday, Tuesday. Okay? Um, and you know what I noticed? Okay. With some of the readings. And this is why I'm doing a little bit of an update. And I'll, I'll just give you a prime example. So it's kind of like an extra reading, right? But say I go like this in current energy. What I want to explain to you guys, these this is a reading I kind of, a style of reading I always did for myself. So I know how to read the energy for myself, right? But obviously if you guys too, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like in general, this is going to be a little bit of an adjustment for me to get used to it. Because in a couple of the videos, I was like, ah, okay. So this is how I do it, okay? Here we have our current energy, which is yours, okay? And then we have how he or she is feeling. If you're in the same sex, it's how she feels about you and you about her, yada, yada, okay? And then we have what you don't see coming, possible outcome. And then I go to the current past because it could have happened two minutes ago, all right? Um, but what I'm noticing, okay, um, because I was, again, first time doing it for my Zodiacs, this, in this style, is, it's almost like he or she's, is meshing with possible outcome. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's your outcome. It's like their outcome. So what I'm picking up on so far is that your main energy pretty much is boiling down to past and current and what you don't see coming obviously has to do with you as well but kind of almost like what's happening with them okay so it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment um on how you're going to pick up on the reading because it, it, it's on you on how you want to pick up on the reading and, and how you want to read it I mean Mingyu you could this could actually be you and that could be them see what I'm saying so for instance, like, let's just see if it happens again. Like, let's just do a collective. And because I'm just explaining this to you, this extended is not going to be on Patreon. Sheldon's making a ruckus all of a sudden. And for those who are on Patreon, welcome. And the reason why I have it so reasonably priced for $2 a week is because this is meant to benefit you guys, okay, as a collective. And I'm loving the feedback of a Patreon loving that you are loving okay the change feels nice so collective collective current energy collective current energy so we'll do a, a quick collective okay three of cups reversed now we'll do how he or she is feeling how he or she is feeling one more so this is this is somebody who wants to come in and offer something. This is somebody who's clearly made up their mind, okay? Right now, it's like, yep, got the strength. I'm going after it, all right? So what you don't see coming, and again, that could be something you don't see coming too. So this is why I'm doing this for you. You have an, emotion, you have an emotional outcome here. It's like a second chance, all right? But somebody's not having it regardless, all right? So possible outcome. So somebody might be in tune with their emotions. I mean, this could be someone who texts you while drinking. It could be a random scenario of all sorts of things. Possible outcome for the collective. Queen of Cups reverse, Five of Cups, and the Wheel. Okay, and Seven of Wands. Um, in the current past. So you're just as emotional about something. It, it's like something that has to do with the past here. It's like not moving forward, it's being blocked. Okay? So that kind of looks like an ending. 
current past you have the Queen of Swords reverse, whether this is you or, or somebody else. Okay, but this is like, I'm not having it, and that's it. It, it really is like that, okay? So currently, tell me about the Three of Cups. So this is why I'm doing this. You have to decipher where you're at. Just because I'm saying this is you currently as a collective, unhappy. Well, I mean, I guess, obviously, that's, that could be a given, right? But this could be you wanting this. And they're unhappy. So, again, this is why I'm doing this. So, current, currently. So, this is somebody, I don't know if somebody was juggling. We have the Three of Cups. Too much going on. Too much drinking. Too much partying. Too much hanging out with friends. Too much, too much, too much. And you didn't put enough heart and soul into something. Okay, but this is an energy of that, like, that's it. I'm done juggling. So maybe you found out there was too many people in the equation, and you're like, fuck that. All right? So now we have a situation, he or she, okay, that wants to offer something, that is making a decision, does want it, okay? You are dealing with a, a dynamic that um, is slower than the average bear, but is absolutely reliable. Again, here, I don't know if you walked away from a scenario and they're like, oh, man, I want it back. So tell me about this current scenario here. Of course, it's that one. Okay. So you do have mutual feelings for somebody. But when the Eight of Cups is reversed, this is an energy of like, oh, I walked away, but I want to come back. So... I don't know if there's a masculine that turned that back from you or you guys could be both feminines and but there are more in a masculine energy. So even if you're in the same sex, you, someone will always carry the masculine and the feminine. OK, and it doesn't mean all the masculines more, you know, um, excuse my PC, like butchy. You know, I, I, that's I don't know if that's rude to me or not. I mean, sometimes I'm like, oh, my God, like honestly, I'm straight, but I'm just saying in general. Like, me, I, if I was to be gay or bisexual, I'd probably like the more butchy ones because I, I, like, I like manly. I don't, I don't do girly. I, I want to be girly. I, I don't want my girl to be girly if I'm going to be bisexual. So, anyhow, I didn't mean to insult you by any means. I, it's just me. I'd probably prefer, I, you know, okay, I'm going to keep my opinion to myself. <laughs> Welcome to courts class. Courts language. Sorry if I'm not politically correct. But I'm saying... I guarantee if I was bisexual, if I was, you know, straight up lesbian, I would want my chick to be more manly because I want to play the girly role, okay? So I hope I didn't insult anybody. So no matter who you are on this side, okay, um, and now I'm questioning what I just said, but would I actually like girly girly? <laughs> Good thing I just like guys and you don't have to worry about this right now. I'm just saying in general, whatever you like, you like and I'm happy you like what you like. Okay? Get it. So, again, unhappy with the situation. Too much juggling. Now, currently, this person doesn't want to juggle. Okay? This, someone was holding on to pain that wasn't even there. So that means somebody was holding on to past pain or somebody was holding on to fear of getting hurt again. So now... What he or she is feeling, I want a new start. I made a decision. The love is reversed. This is somebody, I'm going after it. This is what I want. Okay? So, I don't know if technically they originally turned their back on you. Because it's the masculine energy that wants something back. It's almost like they didn't want commitment. So, I don't know if with the Ten of Pentacles, if you wanted something more solid. But there's still, regardless, there's, there's mutual love. But sometimes, you know, love's not enough. Um... And let's just move on to the current past here, okay? Because I feel like this is, again, you and them. And, yeah, it's almost like that never happened. Uh, nothing solid could happen because somebody was playing, okay? Um, it's like not following their intuition, keeping secrets, keeping you confused, not giving you straight answers. So you're just like, you know, go kick rocks. Um, yeah, but see, here we go. Six of Cups reverse. That's somebody from your past that wants back. They want you back. Back to life. They're, and if it's, if it's over, they're not accepting it's over. Okay, because now somebody sees something long term. Anywho, 
what you don't see coming is a king of cups energy this is somebody who's going to express how they feel this could be somebody all of a sudden you get an emotional text this could be drinking and texting let's see what this what you don't see coming so you're going to find yourself in different dynamics okay yeah this is somebody who's who fears a situation okay this is someone who fears being emotional this is somebody who is like oh do i gotta have that machismo you know um this is somebody who doesn't want to get caught up with with tears rolling down their face but right now there's a lot of tears rolling down this face and i don't know what went down okay but I don't, you know, things have just been on hold for too long. This is somebody who definitely wants to open up and tell you how they feel, but they, they it's, it's fear, fear and ego right there. Or you're letting go of something karmic. Even if you're letting go of something karmic, it's still fear and ego getting the best of you. It, it's almost like sharing your emotions gives you fear, anxiety. Um, and then what you don't see coming here, again... But see, we have a court couple, so I don't, you know. So it's almost like I don't know if this was a toxic situation. It was It was like everyone lost. It's, it was manipulation. It was games. It was silliness. It was ridiculousness. Drinking could have got this person in trouble. That's what could have started this whole thing. Partying, drinking, hanging out, sticking things where they don't belong. Or having no good intention behind it, you know, um, possible outcome. So to me, this looks like here, you know, someone's, you know, upset and emotional and wants something to go in their direction. Okay, but no longer really has hope for that. You know, um, feels kind of neglected, stabbed in the back, not happy about a scenario, wants to block a situation, could be dealing with a Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, you have them all. Um, but this is, you know, have strength, like something's over. This is holding on to something that's dead and gone. Like you've already been stabbed in the back by this person or vice versa. You know, there, there's no hope. Like it's, there's only, you can only turn your back to this and move forward. So this is a finality. So it looks like for the, the collective read today, this is kind of what's going down. So see my, see my, um, see what I'm trying to explain to you? You can be anywhere here. Honestly, like that's that's the point I'm trying to get at in in the midst of my reads because my intention for you guys say it's Taurus in general. This is Taurus. This is Taurus because it's past, right? Possible outcome should be Taurus hands hands down all day. So if spirit wants to relay a message and let you know that it has to do with this one, it is what it is. You have to have an open perspective with these reads because this is again like I'm saying this is something I would normally do for myself it's a, a I created this for my own spread my own read in the beginning I, it's not a YouTube spread I would normally do right here this is basically telling me yep this is something that's over okay um and with the love is reverse it's somebody who made a choice so it's almost like that somebody had to let somebody go they turned their back on somebody but now they want that person back and it, it is an, an emotional situation this is somebody who's either drinking a shit ton with all these cups reversed or it's somebody who's letting something get in the way. An addiction. This can be an addiction all damn day. It's the devil. Okay, and it's it's caused turmoil. It's called it's it's caused battle. So you're going to have to decipher like who's who when you get these type of reads, right? There is a beautiful connection here between the lovers and the two of cups. Somebody had that in the six zodiacs today. Oh, I want to say it was like in Mercury or something, the Mercury read. But this is making a decision to go after this. This is somebody who turned their back because they didn't want a commitment. They didn't want to look at something like that because they, they were already involved in a situation, clearly. And this is something that is over and it's time to move forward. Okay. Um, you have engagement and partnership, commitment, eternity, union.
So someone in this scenario is Mr. or Mrs. Right, and the other one is Mr. or Mr. Wrong. Okay. But that was for that. Sorry, I should have kept it at that. Um, and then a date. So this person could want to take you on a date or you're just getting back out there after you got, you know, caught up in something. Because you could have been in a karmic situation and now you're like, I'm out, you know. So there's a couple of different scenarios here. But this is, this is also a past life soulmate. Okay. Um, and someone made a decision to... To have that. Others of you, you would definitely put in a scenario where you're like, you weren't having it. You got out of it. And you're meeting somebody new and you're getting back out there. There was too many people in the equation. Clear as day. You know, you got an emotional something coming towards you. Because right now this is more fear. Sheldon, you trying to get out? I feel like it's more fear than karma. Yeah, see, clarity, truth, protection, power. If someone could have just been protecting their emotions, like I said in the beginning, this is not somebody who wanted to get in tunes with their emotions, okay? Um, so this could have happened six years ago, guys. It could have happened six days ago. But your past is coming back doesn't mean you have to take them. You could be like, eh, no, I'm out. I'm going to date new people. I'm going to get back out there. Some of you, you do have a meant to be scenario. You would feel that strong soul connection. And this is not this. Actually, it could be. Because it could be you kind of like emotional about a situation, but you know what? You close the door. It's blocked. You don't you don't want to hope for anything. You just feel like, okay, done, over. I'm strong. I'm out. But then in, if that's the case, it would come back together. But I'm thinking it's more of a karmic because you have two core couples. So see what I'm saying? You're going to have to decipher the, the, the energy on, on your own. No, see, this is that. See what I'm saying? When it should be, it's almost like it should play out completely different. Not the scenario per se, but the, the way the reading is. But this is a relationship evolving, going to the next phase. Okay? Um. But right now, you're like, fuck that. It ain't going nowhere. It's almost like this energy is not even looking at this energy, and that's the Five of Cups. So I don't know if you thought somebody was dwelling on something, and you're like, no, I'm done. I'm shutting the door. This doesn't feel good. This this wheel's not going in my direction. That's like get off the damn carousel. You're no longer hoping for a situation. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, you already feel like you got hurt, stabbed in the back, and now you're turning your back towards this shit, and you're, yes, you're standing your ground. But... That's why we call it a possible outcome, because not everybody will want it back, okay? So I don't know if it was just maybe you were dating multiple people, and maybe this person somewhere down the road was like, nah, it's just you, yada, yada. Well, clearly it wasn't, because somebody was juggling, but now they don't want to juggle, okay? And now they want something more. And this might be their past that wants them back and is not too happy about a scenario. This is what I'd be more concerned about, to be quite honest with you, because you don't see it coming. This is somebody who's going to kind of like vomit their emotions, but when they do, they're pissed. Five of Swords and the Devil, this is like, this is like what goes around comes around. And I don't think it has anything to do with this. This is like a fight. There's no fight here. So, to me, it's, what I'm seeing is there's clearly something already over here. There's a chance for this to come back together, whether it will or not. You know? And what you don't see coming, 
you might not even know that this person's going to lose their shit on someone else. Because I don't think that's linked to you. I would have saw all that here. That's a masculine energy that's like, who was dealing with something extremely karmic and toxic and no good. And this could be also, you could have been dealing with someone who was arrogant as fuck, thought they were going to win by playing their games, and now they're in their emotions. So again, this is a good example on why I'm giving you this type of read right now. So, Because I need you to break it down your way. It's your read. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Not everything needs to resonate. You might only resonate with one little pile. Okay? So to me, this is someone who's cold, icy. This is like a DB all day. That's like, that would be me like, you need to get off your douche canoe. Okay? That's because this is someone on a douche canoe. I'm not going to lie to you. But they want back. Doesn't mean they're going to get it because the Ace of Pence is reversed. If you ask me, someone didn't get what they want and now they're on their little douche canoe. Okay? So, yeah, learning from the past, having to learn. Okay? Reminiscing. Six of Cups upright, reminiscing all day, but it's reversed. They wanted it back. They wanted a new start. Now it's not happening. And now someone's going to ride the douche canoe. Well, let's hope they, they ride all the way down the river. Okay, let's not let's not go overboard and 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 say over you know that that thing where you go down the river and then there's like a dip. Let's just say you know off to grandma's house they go. I don't know. So see, I don't even think that's you. I know for sure that's the collective, but. This is like putting your foot down. Too much. You wanted more. So now you're putting your foot down. It's either going to work out with this energy or you're out on your own. You got you got somebody, you got energy everywhere. You got someone that's riding their little douche canoe. You got somebody that's like, I'm going to date. You can go kick rocks. You got another one where you know there's something intense and beautiful. And for all I know, you can be part of this whole entire thing. And I'm telling you, all I have to say, and I can't stress it enough, you know, even though I'm saying current situation, how he or she feels, what you don't see coming, possible outcome, and current past. Again, current past could be two minutes ago, right before this uploaded, or it could have been two years ago, okay? And that type of energy would be arguing with this type of energy. This is an argument that you don't see coming. And I guarantee this person doesn't even see this coming. You wouldn't even see this coming. Because it's not here yet. It's coming. This argument, this battle, it's coming. It hasn't happened. But this might have to happen in order for this to happen. Okay? And you guys might not even resonate with this. This was just a, a, an example that I was giving you. Okay? Um, and then when I go to the extended, so you guys are aware, okay, so I normally don't have this many cards out with like all these, you know, and we normally have like a couple of these per se. So let's just get a couple of these out here. I want to feel that way again. So this is somebody who knows they lost an opportunity and I'm afraid to contact you. So you got somebody that's intimidated, okay, um, because someone put their foot down. So in an extended, basically, we would just kind of, it just depends on where I want to bounce to, but let's just say I'm in the extended. I'm afraid to contact you. Let's do this. And I want to feel that way again. So to me, this is like a loss here too. Yeah, so, see, somebody wants that contentment, but right now it's not going anywhere because there was tricky shit going on. Okay. Um, so you have that per se. And then I'd go like over here. You know, so that's the Ten of Pence reverse. That is something that could have been long term, but is no longer working out. And this, see, again, it's like not having the strength, not having the courage. Like this is somebody who would rather just, you know, keep rowing her little boat than to face something that's about to 
face something that's already been in her face or his face and didn't want to see it, right? So this is, and you got two people here, it's the Nine of Wands, right? So it's it's a battle. It's the Wounded Warriors. It's not the first time you've experienced this or it's an experience um, you're going to have to experience. You know, you're going to have to battle it out. And it could be two of you battling. Yeah, like it's, it's over. Five of Swords, again, it's over. Queen of Swords, the same woman. You know, they're always juggling. See, there's, there's new love. So... I don't know if it was just dating, if it was third-party interferences, all this stuff. But see how, like in my extended, basically, it, it's it's kind of reading the same thing. And then it's like, well, you know what? The reason why this is happening is because there was somebody else in the picture. And now somebody wants that love. Somebody wants to feel that. Because they clearly already feel it. Or you, in general, weren't getting it. And that's what you want. And you're going to hold yourself at high standards. Right? And here it's upright. So you could have been dealing with a, quite a few people from your past. You could have been dating somebody off and on for six months. You know, it really just depends. So basically, I just kind of go around like that and then say, if you're, you know, a Capricorn, I would, you know, throw you a couple, I throw you a couple of this, a couple of these cards, and basically, you got mirroring in new direction. So, again, there's two people here, again, which is right here. It's mutual. Two people want the same thing. You know, then I would kind of dig a little deeper into that for you. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So it just kind of goes down like that. You know? And, and, and I do give you plenty on YouTube, but I, I will tell you that I'm, you know, I think the longest extended one was like eight minutes and the shortest was like six. You know, I try to keep it under 10 for sure because I don't want to complicate anything or this, this, this and that like I used to. Like now it's just like, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know, and it's just, it's clear. And that's it. You get what you get and you don't get upset. And if you don't like it, be out. Of your situation <laughs> you know what I mean so you know there was only two that surprised me today where the outcome changed like that because there's something like that I would have picked up on we already knew there was too many people in the picture we already knew clearly you know that there was more in one situation than there was in the other but in the extended we now know what's causing this this rift this battle but it's karmic it needed to go bye bye anyway bye bye okay there's something way more fulfilling way more fulfilling okay and it, and again it's it's mutual you have something very mutual here but it looks like in order to even get there you got to break through a lot of shit first to even have that as a reader i would know you have to break through that First, you have to break through that, your own challenge, which is not really a challenge, but it's a challenge for somebody in this scenario because it was too many people. But clearly, somebody doesn't want to juggle anymore. Somebody realizes, like, it just, that was the shittiest thing I probably could have done. It got me nowhere. It caused pain. It was misleading. It was games. It was ridiculousness, you know? If you want ridiculousness, go watch MTV. Okay. And I didn't mean it like that. I meant it as the show Ridiculousness. <laughs> okay. So I just wanted to give you a little example. All right. And I just want you to be aware because I picked up on it because I was really looking at it like this is going to be you. This is just going to be them. And this you don't know who it's going to be, but I'm assuming it's for you and it's what you don't see coming. All right. But in all reality, this has nothing to do with you right now. This has to do with them and someone else. But in a way, it has something to do with you because the reason why this is going bye bye is because somebody has their emotional contentment elsewhere. And whether they want to bring it up, the other person will bring it up. See what I'm saying? So. And if you are really dealing with somebody who's riding their douche canoe, fucking see you later, Gator. 
You're going to pick yourself up. You're going to pull yourself together. And you're going to find your way out. Because that's what we do. You know what I mean, jelly beans? So I hope this helps. And again, link is below. You will find an extended for every single one of my 12 videos, Zodiacs, okay? And I do something during the week called Soul's Contract. And it's, it's kind of just like where the current alignment is and you kind of know what you're working with. Okay. It's, it's a beautiful read. I don't want to stop that one. Um, and then again, if I do a read for the collective on YouTube, I will go back in and, um, clarify for you. Obviously I'm looking at more when I'm doing more. I'm just giving you a prime example. Okay. Um, and again, it's, it's great. It benefits everybody and it's $2 a week. And I love that you guys are loving it. Loving it. So, I love you guys. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And that's that. I will see you tomorrow. And we will wrap up the other zodiacs. I believe I have fire and water to finish up. Okay. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.